What should you expect when visiting San Diego in 2021? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to the final video of the Vlogmas series, video number 31. I've done 31 videos in the entire month, including live streams, and I'm excited to bring you all the content around San Diego and Southern California. Anyways, guys, I wanted to talk to you about what to expect when visiting San Diego in 2021. The first thing to know is the first half of 2021 is still gonna be really slow. A lot of things will still be closed and opening back up and going back and forth. It really depends on the hospitalizations and cases and the ICU capacities and whatnot. Within the first couple months of 2021, expect things to not be fully open. Social distancing protocols at establishments are here to stay in 2021. Expect to still be wearing your masks. Expect for the hand sanitizer to still be around. Uh, capacity at restaurants to start. Indoors will probably be only around 20%. I think outdoor dining will be a huge thing in 2021 as the vaccines get rolled out here and as things start getting better into the summer, into the fall maybe, outdoor dining going into the summer is gonna be very popular. Next, I know it's still a rule right now that you have to order food in order to get alcohol at an establishment. So if you're at a bar or a restaurant, you have to order some sort of appetizer or meal in order to get beer or a cocktail. So expect that to continue on into 2021, especially as we get into the new normal. I think that'll be another way for restaurants to make a little more revenue. If you're flying in from out of town, the San Diego airport is actually a pretty small airport for such a big city. So expect lines at the airport to be longer. So give yourself an extra hour maybe for some leeway just in case they do extra security precautions or they do tests and ask you questionnaires and whatnot. But just be prepared that at San Diego airport that might take a little longer once travel starts picking up again. All right, Jaycationers, if you like what you're hearing so far, please feel free to like this video. It will help distribute it throughout YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you get updates when my latest videos come out and when I do live streams. The first quarter of 2021 will definitely still be a challenge. Once that stay at home order is lifted, it'll get back to like 20% indoor dining and outdoor dining will resume as well and barbershops and essential businesses will start popping up again. Some smaller businesses in order to survive are defying uh, state and city orders about closing down. You may see that continue on into 2021, so don't be surprised if you see a restaurant open. They're on the low about staying open, but don't be surprised if you see things open when they're not supposed to be. Now, just recently, there was a judge that ruled in favor of two strip clubs here in San Diego to stay open and also said that restaurants may be able to stay open and do indoor or outdoor dining. We're not sure if that's gonna be overturned. Maybe by the time you see this video, that's overturned by now, but there are court battles going on for these establishments to stay open. What do you guys think? Is the judge right to leave these places open? Let me know in the comment section below. Wait till the end of the video to see what I think will happen with Comic Con in 2021. Next up, I'm gonna talk about colleges. My alma mater, San Diego State University. What's up, Aztecs? I believe that right now there are a lot of limitations with in-person learning. I think they're doing a lot of online classes. I think in the fall, there might be a small chance that we can start attending classes in person, but it's still kind of too early to see. We're gonna have to see what happens uh, with the vaccine and the numbers. But yeah, in San Diego, San Diego State University and UCSD were known for a high rate of cases at some point in time during this year. So they're gonna be really careful about starting classes up again. Things are gonna get better, guys. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. San Diego has also been dealing with a homeless situation in and around town. And I believe that in 2021, it's just gonna continue. And I've noticed as I've gone to places like the Gaslamp Quarter and downtown San Diego that there have been more homeless roaming around on the streets at night. It's a very difficult time because a lot of people are going through a lot of problems mentally, physically. Just be aware that there's going to be a continued homeless situation here in San Diego and when you're in places like downtown San Diego, you're going to see a lot of them around. And if for some reason you're coming to San Diego to maybe get a glimpse of Qualcomm Stadium, well guys, 
Qualcomm Stadium is being dismantled as we speak. If you want to take a picture in front of this old concrete structure full of history, don't expect to see it at some point in 2021 because it's being demolished right now. And Horton Plaza, if you've been in San Diego before and you have fond memories about shopping in Horton Plaza and checking out the multi-floor mall in Gaslamp Quarter in San Diego, Horton Plaza is actually being turned into a tech campus right now and it's a construction zone. So don't expect Horton Plaza to be around when you get here in 2021. Another thing to look out for in 2021 in San Diego is expect the beaches to be packed once the summer and fall hit here in San Diego. It was already packed here during the pandemic, but when masks start coming off for sure and things start getting better with the pandemic, expect the beach to just start booming again. Some beaches to check out in 2021, I believe you should go check out Encinitas, Ocean Beach, Imperial Beach, and Oceanside. Those are all great spots to check out when in San Diego. One thing that has been a plus during the pandemic, for me at least, because I've been doing a beach series around San Diego, is that parking, most of the parking has been free. But I do believe in 2021, parking on the street will start being monitored again and you'll start seeing street tickets so make sure you're following signs as usual around san diego especially around downtown to go along with parking i believe that traffic here in san diego now traffic is a lot different here in san diego than it is in la but during certain times of the day especially from seven to nine in the morning three to six in the afternoon in certain areas of san diego like the 5805 split uh, La Jolla Village Drive in 805, that area, uh, it gets really packed. And I think once people start going back to their work offices and start having to commute and not be at home all the time, I believe that traffic is gonna get bad again. My tip for avoiding traffic is ask a local, ask me on the comment section below, what are good times to be driving from one place to another here in San Diego. I would say, just make sure you're in a place you wanna be from the time of three and six, go find a nice happy hour spot and have a drink and some appetizers and just enjoy. Also, when you're visiting San Diego, I believe that hotels are gonna continue with protocols as they start opening up. So make sure that you're checking out how cleanly they're being and what type of check-in protocols they have when you visit these hotels. And the hotel tax here in San Diego is pretty high. It's one of the things here that they charge a high amount of just like the resorts fees in Las Vegas that uh, you feel ripped off doing but it's a tax so you have no choice but to but to pay it. So as of now in December of 2020 theme parks like Legoland, SeaWorld they're all closed but as 2021 rolls on and the stay at home order is lifted and things start getting back to normal I believe theme parks will start opening up. Now there will be certain attractions that are not open but eventually, as we get to the end of 2021, I believe places in Legoland will start be fully operational and SeaWorld as well, as well as the zoo, even though the zoo was open before the stay at home order started. Now for you Padre fans or you baseball fans that are out of towners wanting to see your favorite team play the Padres here at Petco Park, I believe the season is still gonna start off with having no fans in the stands, unfortunately. As we get into the later summer, early fall, they might start letting fans in here in California, but with the strict rules and regulations, I don't know, I don't see it happening, but you never know. So stay tuned for that, and hopefully you guys get to enjoy Petco Park and check out all the great cuisine in and around the ballpark and the beautiful views and sunset around that ballpark and also catch some great baseball. Fernando Tatis, what's good? For aquariums and museums, I believe they're gonna be at a reduced capacity once the stay at home order is lifted. The Birch Aquarium just down the street here just actually opened up before the stay at home order was implemented. Now the outdoor areas of these museums, I think they're gonna open up to its normal capacity eventually. Festivals like Wonderfront and Kaboo, which are hugely popular here in San Diego, it's still too early to tell. So I would just keep checking their website and seeing what type of protocols they'll have Maybe they'll have temperature checks at the gates, reduced capacity, selling less tickets. I'm not even sure if the artists are ready to go out and about, but I'm sure once it's ready to go, they're going to have all these different protocols implemented as things start getting better in the world. San Diego has such a booming industry for conventions and conferences, and I don't believe 
all conventions and conferences will be returning to its usual program in 2021. I do believe some will start trickling in. We'll start getting business through that because a lot of our hotels and our restaurants in downtown, they get business from these conferences and conventions. So hopefully we start seeing conferences and conventions pop up. Pretty popular destination for people that are gamblers are the Indian casinos here in San Diego. With the Indian casinos, they did open up before the stay at home order was implemented, but the buffets, the popular buffets like the Viejas Lobster Buffet, that closed down. So I think once things start opening up again, the buffets will open up, but at the beginning, I think they're gonna serve you the food and you can't just uh, go grab it on your own. Maybe towards the end of the year we'll be able to have buffets just like old times. Now let's talk something a little more positive. It's gonna be sunny in San Diego at least 320 days out of the year. So expect it to be sunny for 320 days out of the year in 2021. Just watch out for that May gray and that June gloom. And then later in the afternoon, the sun starts coming out. And finally, the famous San Diego Comic Con. Will it return in 2021? Well, they haven't officially announced anything yet, but I do believe that in 2021, it's not until July, so I do believe it will return. I have faith. I'm really crossing my fingers for this. I don't think you can go out there and buy tickets. I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna let people who have tickets from last year's canceled Comic Con return to this Comic Con, to this year's. So I think all the tickets are already swooped up. Lucky I already have mine, thank God. I think Comic Con will return and there will probably be protocols like a reduced capacity, maybe even temperature checks. There'll still be social distancing. So we'll see what happens with Comic Con. They'll announce that as the year goes on and maybe I'll do a video about it. What do you guys think? Comment below. Do you think Comic Con in 2021 will be returning to San Diego and be normal again? That is what you should expect in 2021 when visiting San Diego. Now, if you have any questions or comments about San Diego, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you're just discovering my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get updates on my newest videos and live streams. Please leave this video a like. I really appreciate it. It helps get this video distributed throughout YouTube. And if you wanna check out my Patreon and support me throughout my 2021 journey throughout San Diego, maybe Vegas, maybe Orlando, maybe back to Barcelona, check out my Patreon and also my Teespring for one more day. It's 20% off with the coupon code HOLIDAY20. Anyways guys, we're here at La Jolla Cove. It's a beautiful day, about to do a live stream. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, Stay traveling, San Diego.